All right, welcome back. After my horrific incident of terror is over, how about some breakfast? No, 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 it was important. Day, uh, yeah, anyways. Bop, bop. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, anyways. Okay, so, yeah, so, speaking of last time, uh, superhero movies, um, uh, Wonder Woman, Bloodline, uh, movie was out. It was pretty good. I watched it. It was pretty good. It was also her origin story, which isn't normally done, but you skip over the boring shit, right? You skip to when the dude, her boyfriend slash husband, finds her on the island and then they leave. You skip to that origin story, because the real origin story of Wonder Woman's boring, that's why we don't get it that much. Because she's just like, I was, I was made, made out of clay. clay, and then I lived on an island of all women for a long time, and my mom told me to never leave the island, and that was my story. <laughs> Then a man fell from the sky, and I was just like, I ain't never seen a penis before. I'm gonna go with that for a while. And then they, uh, that's what they did. They, she just went with the penis. And saved the world. And saved the world. It was very important. Uh, <laughs> I still don't understand how she had an invisible jet. Oh, but... they explain it in the, the movie, which I like so much better. Uh, so her boyfriend's slash husband later in the franchise, um works for the government, like, high-level ah, government, okay. and the Invisible Jet is one of their experimental technologies, and she herself is a, um... Agent? Is an agent, yes. For that government branch. <sighs> okay, that's the other one. I gotta go down. What are we calling that one, Chris? That's a butt, because you gotta go down okay. for it. You gotta get low. Okay. Penis butt. Penis butt. <laughs> remember, Chris, penis butt. Penis butt. I will remember. <laughs> I immediately, like, hit the one right when it starts, really? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was it was good to watch though because it reminded me how much better of a character Wonder Woman could be, but they never actually use her properly. No, why would they use a female character? Because her correctly, whole point Chris? of her character is like she's there to improve mankind, yeah. but also she's like a failure to her people because she left like yeah without their permission and shit and. She, Disgrace the name, even though she's the princess or whatever the dumb princess shit. Princess Diana of so the they, Amazonians. Yeah, so like they worked more with that, which is like, hey, the concepts that aren't stupid. Uh, <laughs> I I love the concepts of the Amazonians in actual like Greek mythology, mm. which is just like, yeah, no, they're they're like fucking crazy. Yeah, because here here's what I kind of realized with like Wonder Woman over the over the many decades of the character and it's Wonder Woman always falls for the same trap right like the writers and it goes in kind of like this weird cycle because when she first introduced her like her point of her character was like I am here to save mankind and improve so society I'm, I'm blanking on which version of the Amazons it is from which like continuity it is yeah but one of the versions of it was the amazonians don't have men right yeah but what they do is they sneak aboard sailing ships mm -hmm. seduce the men get pregnant with their with kids and then murder every man on board that boat yeah and i'm like that's metal as fuck <laughs> well that's what i'm getting at is um the the okay so the, that's what i'm getting at right is Wonder Woman always falls into the same trap over time with her character arc, which is why I'm always like, this character never really works out for long-term investment. And it's, she always starts out as like, savior of mankind, right? Like, she's here to help the humans not want to murder each other and be yeah. more accepting of others. And then the longer they write for her character, the more she just becomes typical feminist, all men are evil and I'm going to kill all men. And it's like, I feel like we missed the point, guys. There was, there was one. And they do it every, like, ten or so years, and they reboot her character back to what she was before, and I'm like, uh, I don't know, they always lose me after a certain point, there was one version. Like, it's the same shit. There was one version, and I'll tell you in a moment before we forget to mention, up, down, down, up, up no, it's up, up, down. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, start, select. Yeah, I remember now. Am I gonna? Oh god, I'm gonna go through the tunnel. Fuck. Alright, 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 alright. Save, save. Alright, What the fuck is that? Alright. Uh, <laughs> that was bullshit. But, I'm not um, mad at all. Continue. There was one where it's Batman, like, is going in. I don't know if. No, it's Superman, actually. They're, um. Superman opens a door in, like, a Vietnam village. Mm -hmm. And, um. 
Wonder Woman sitting there drinking like. Oh shit yeah, they with... they aired that last night. Yeah. And uh, yes, I know exactly what you're saying. And, um, you with the scene there. It's... And it's it's like a what the heck, and Wonder Woman has. With those women's help, brutally murdered. No, Derek. No? She didn't murder them. She freed all the women, removed all the men from their guns, put all their guns in a pile, let the women have the guns, and then let the women murder them. She yes. didn't kill anyone. Yeah. She's still a superhero. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> My um, apologies. Yeah, and then and then soup and then soups is just like No. <laughs> yes. That makes us that makes them no better than them. Yeah. And he's and she's just like Fuck you, Soups, and Soups is just like, man, why am I always the Boy Scout? And then goes and mopes about it to his wife for a while. Uh, <laughs> I, as much as I don't like Superman as a character, I've come to the realization after watching that movie, because they re-aired it that night, along with the Wonder Woman movie, I realize Superman does work as a character. If you put him in scenarios where his overwhelming god powers mean nothing, yeah, that's when he works. If it's if it's not about being stronger, it's about being the morally better character. Yeah, that's when he works, but like, they don't do that enough. God damn it, that was a penis moment. Was it, sa was it a saved moment, though? It was not. Almost. It was almost saved. Um, I hope they air it, because <laughs> I, I really want you to watch it. The mm. Red Sun. They won't wear it probably for, uh... Because it's time. uh super no yeah, communist Superman. It's communist Superman, where Superman literally lobotomizes uh, is it Lenin? No, Stalin. Stalin. He lobotomizes Stalin because he's just like I can run this country better than you can. <laughs> uh, and then we have a uh, gorilla fighter uh, bat uh, Batman, which is amazing. Yeah, they, there's a lot of Batman v Superman, and it's always played off the same. Where it's like Superman would win, but like, eh. but it costs him. <laughs> it's like, but plot. <laughs> but, it, but it costs him. Um, no, most of the time you would just destroy Batman. Oh yeah, it's like his whole. They just let Superman not kill him. Like, like I think they did that for Batman Year One, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I forget. Um, they were just like. He, like, Batman beats Superman, and then Superman's like, I could easily just annihilate you, but I'm trying not to, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Um, the, oh, there's only one fair fight against Superman, and it's Superman versus uh, Dr. Fate. Because <laughs> Superman's weak to magic, so you just rock him the entire yep. time. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Alright. But no, um, I, I love it, because it's just like, okay... That was, that was like the new. I think they did that to make Superman less bullshit, but they they made it so that like he's weak to magic now. And I I swear they did that just to be like, see, he's not so fucking dumb. Kryptonite <laughs> and magic, and you know that's about it. Because they were like, because Kryptonite has always been kind of mm, tiny rock, bring me to knees, but also island of Kryptonite, I able to throw in sun, me big strong man. <laughs> it's because uh, it's not red Kryptonite. It's not. Green kryptonite? It's red kryptonite. Or red kryptonite makes him stronger. And no, it was green. It was a whole island of green kryptonite. No, it was back in like the 60s let, or something. Let me, let me do stupid <laughs> jokes here, Chris. All right. <laughs> red kryptonite makes you stronger. Green kryptonite... Oh, wait, no. Red makes you stronger. Green kryptonite makes you weaker. Pink kryptonite turns you into a woman in certain continuities. It's weird. <laughs> I was going to just make the joke that's like yellow kryptonite makes you horny. That's not even a joke, they actually use that in something. Dude, they... Kryptonite is dumb. Anyways, uh, I do love that they, they did have the great line, though, in that uh, that Justice League movie, though, of uh, Batman just being like, I just want you to know that I have a $14 million sliver of rock to take down one alien, and I only need 10 cents for a it's, book of matches for he's you. He's talking to... Uh, he's Man Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. Yeah, and, uh, dude. I love it. I love Martian Manhunter. Super oh. underrated character. Although, Martian Manhunter is literally... See, Martian Manhunter is better Superman. Because he has even more bullshit powers than Superman has. and all that bullshit. Except he's weak to fire, which is incredibly common and easy to do. So, you know what I love about Superman that I think is so stupid? Yo. The reason why his glasses disguise works mm -hmm. is because, I guess... Um, crypt not Kryptonite. It's Kryptonians, right? No. Oh. Whatever Superman is, <laughs> they actually have a low-level psychic field 
that subtly affects people's mind, and that's why his little glasses disguise works. Oh, that's a hilarious fucking redcon. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love how stupid that, that is? That is the dumbest shit ever. It's so dumb, I kind of love it. <laughs> I read that, and I was just like, are you serious? <laughs> like, what? Superman can do everything, the power. You know he has a fix ray, where he can just look at things and they'll be fixed? Yeah. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ugh. I don't think he has that one anymore. I think that was only 1950s Superman before they rebooted him and were like, no more dumb powers. And then they kept doing it. <laughs> I'll just use my fixer vision. <laughs> and rebuilds the Great Wall of China. <laughs> God, it's so great. Now going down. What a movie. Down, down. Okay, I don't know where it is, but at some point we go like super left. Like, super, super left. I think it's this one. Yes. Look at that! Look at that! You can't- you, what the fuck?! It's so <laughs> bullshit! Alright, 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 we're gonna- we're gonna fucking do this one. I have Superman 64 embedded in my fucking brain now, and we're gonna win! I don't care how long it takes, I don't care if it's the whole fucking episode, we're doing this! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Everyone's along for the ride. Everyone gets to suffer with me! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Remember when Spyro had these? I do! <laughs> it was bullshit then, it was bullshit now. <coughs> I love flying rings! Rings are my favorite invention by man! <laughs> like, you, can you imagine where we'd be as a society if we would never invented rings? We would never have the wheel! We would never have hula hoops! We would never have any other arbitrary circular-like thing that's used occasionally for things that require circles! What a world that would be! Alright, alright, I'm chilling out now. Alright. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love- what I love about this show, Chris, Yeah. is, is occasionally, yeah, well it's, it's Chris and Derek make subtle jokes and laugh about it. Other times, Chris literally loses his fucking mind. <laughs> the show. Chris only plays the stupid games. That's what. That's really what sets it apart. Okay, up, up, down. Because that was my childhood. My childhood was stupid games. <laughs> but boy, are they fun! Ah, oh, that was the controller. That was. I can't even be that mad because that one was the controller. Oh. No, like, I, I pulled fully up and it just was like, eh, and no. I was like, well, alright. <laughs> like, that was just a solid moment of, alright, well, that's, that's just, sometimes you, it. sometimes you get, sometimes you get busy living and you get busy dying, as my, as Black God would say. Uh. <laughs> oh, um, we haven't talked about this yet, so... Disney did their little uh, press conference the a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. maybe a week ago. I don't remember exactly. Okay. Um, but they are going to make like oh one billion Star Wars things. I heard about this. Billion right? like twelve <laughs> Star Wars things, twelve Marvel things, TV shows, um, like twenty other different projects. And I'm like, okay. And it's like all for Disney Plus because. That's where they put all their money into. Yeah. They're literally gambling on Disney Plus making a huge profit. And if it doesn't, they're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm game for an Obi-Wan TV show. Uh -huh. My boy Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan seems pretty good. I, I would like Obi-Wan. I guess there's talk about the guy who played <sighs> Maul being in that movie as well. Really? And Anakin, the guy who plays Anakin in the prequels is coming back, I guess. Can we get one on that other guy, Qui-Gon Wynn? Qui -Gon, my boy Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> Qui-Gon Jizz? Jizz. I want Qui-Gon Jizz's new movie. Dude, I'd actually love for a Qui-Gon Jinn movie. I'd watch Qui-Gon Jinn. But I want to watch specifically Qui-Gon Jinn as a Force ghost. <laughs> giving vague advice to other Jedis. <laughs> and that's like the whole movie, like TV series. That would be a great TV Wait, show. Wouldn't it be great? <laughs> Just a, t a show set from the perspective of Force Ghosts being fucking trolls. <laughs> you just like roll it. Yeah, just trolling super hard. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> it's like, 
<laughs> cuts away to Force Ghost, Qui-Gon Jinn, he's smoking a fucking doobie. Fat one. Yeah, he's smoking a fucking fat one, fucking, like, uh, just trusting yourself. Trusting yourself, <laughs> He's got dreads now and everything. Ja. He's just super. He's a Rastafarian now. I would love it. So, oh, that's a great like fucking robot chicken sketch right there. <laughs> you should get yep. on that. One that uh, I guess they're gonna do is an Ahsoka TV show. I heard about that. I'm actually looking forward to that. Ahsoka has that appeared, could be really good. Ahsoka actually appeared in. Um, yeah, she she's already made a couple of in, in the Mandalorian. Yeah, um, I'd be down for that. They changed her design, like, kind of heavily, though, which makes no sense. Fuck! <laughs> this... It doesn't hit it every other time! You see... Okay, it seems like it's... it's... Alright, it seems like it's fine now. I'm like, for some reason... My, my analog stick is broken. I know I've brought this up before, but... You see that? That's... That's it being broken. Uh, but it's... An inconsistent broken, you know what I mean? I do. Sometimes it doesn't make a difference, it's just it won't recenter properly. And then other times you'll be pushing down and the joystick is like, the fuck is a down? Um okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm purposely falling failing this one. Because he had an itch. No, because I think I just embedded a splinter underneath my toenail. And I can feel it. I get it. Um all right, can't can't be helped, can't be helped. I'll just have to hope I forget about it and I won't feel it. <laughs> oh, dude, it fucking. Uh, yeah, that does not feel good. That feels like pain. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. You want to pause it and you can fix that? Uh, no, we're good. Okay. The pain will help me focus. Also, even if I could, I don't think I could take it out because I can't see it. Normally, you can see them. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, but no, there's a couple Star Wars movies that I guess, um, Star Wars Bad Batch, which is set after the Clone Wars. Is it the one that has a Bad Batch? Yes. Are they all gonna have Down <laughs> Syndrome? <laughs> no, they're all clones uh, that have weird mutations, but they're favorable. So, pretty much exactly what I was joking about. <laughs> yes, but they make them better crazy soldiers. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um... Are you saying Down Syndrome people aren't crazy better humans? Derek? I didn't say are that they're Down judgmental? Syndrome, Chris. I don't know, man. That seems like you're being very judgmental. I'm saying a lot of people don't make good soldiers, Chris. You know what? That's fair. I agree with that. <laughs> like, we would be terrible soldiers. Dude, what are you talking about? I would be an amazing soldier. They would not want to work with me, but I can assure you I would get kills in the most absolutely deranged lunatic ways. Well, the thing with us, Chris, is we're not very great at following orders. Yeah, exactly. But I can assure you I would have a very high kill count. <laughs> uh, but no, it's going to be the transition between the clones and the Empire. You know that secret <laughs> operation team we have that exists solely for murdering people indiscriminately without feeling? I don't know what you're talking about. That yeah. doesn't exist. That would be me. <laughs> that doesn't exist, Chris. I honestly if I honestly if I was like military, I probably would have ended up in Guantanamo Bay. Because they'd be like, we need a ruthless person that gives no shits about human life to torture people in ruthless ways. And I'd just be like, sign me sign up! Me up. <laughs> I'd do that to normal people, really. Like, <laughs> giving me a reason to do it is just, like, icing on the cake. Like, come so, on. <laughs> they've done some studies, Chris, and you're gonna love this one. Yeah. A, larger, a larger percentage of the population... Mm. would be considered psychopaths than you would think. Oh, uh, no, it's not even surprising to me. It's actually extremely common. Like, <laughs> it's like one out of every ten people or something like that. Yeah, it's extremely low. And But the number of people who actually act on it... Are extremely high, I mean. The number yeah. of people who actually act on it... Yeah, it's very is low. It's very low. Yeah. Because most people know, hey, if I kill this person... the, the People think psychopaths are a crazy. They're not crazy... I mean, they're crazy, but they're not crazy as in, like, they do stupid, crazy shit. They're, they're crazy as in, like, I have zero regards for my own well-being and other people's well-beings, and life means nothing to me. But they're also like, I don't want to go to jail. 
Yeah. Because that's a waste of my time. <laughs> it's it's weird because they've done it, they've looked into it, and it's how you would consider a psychopath God, damn, two is a turn. Yeah. they they don't, it's not that they don't feel anything, it's certain stimuli affect their brain differently than most people. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, that's interesting. It's that they feel nothing about murder. <laughs> yeah. It's not even murder. It's just like how things affect you. Yeah. Like, we would probably both be considered psychopaths if we did the test. Yeah, probably. I think most people would be, though. That's like, true. honestly. I mean, one in ten, right? So I guess yeah, I don't most know if, people would be. I don't know if that number is right, <laughs> but... Uh, it's a lot higher than people think. It's pretty high. I mean, the serial killer gene. There is actually a gene for serial killing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the serial killer gene is actually extremely common. Yeah. Um, it comes, and it mostly shows up in CEOs, because CEOs are ruthless people who don't yeah. care about others, or ruining people to get what they want, which is exactly what serial killers do. <laughs> yeah. Um, They've just found a different outlet. Yeah, it's just they have a new outlet for that causing pain and suffering. That is air quotations legal. Yeah. That's, that's the trick, is you just gotta find a legal way to cause people pain and suffering, and then you're fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thus, U.S. military. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a good system. <laughs> oh, he's my brother got another medal. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, good for him. Yeah. Uh, I'm no. sure he would not take too kindly to the harsh words we have over their system. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> but no, it's it's interesting looking at that like psychopath stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, not that not a sharp, sharp turn. turn. I keep sharp turning in. That's what's fucking me up. This is the one that's we're gonna like go down, down, and then sharp turn. Over, and then we're and gonna then go over, over, and, and then, then over, down. over. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why are they so tight? Okay. I, I what what Shot is myself. what is this? Why? Okay, okay. I'm like, what is this? Why is this, this is facing into territory. this fucking Chris. hole? Like, is this an opening? <laughs> oh, what, what the fuck is that? How do you even get that? <laughs> How do you- <laughs> That was uncharted territory, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <coughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. There's like two missions left in this game, by the way. Yeah. That we can't do. Until we do this. Until we do this. That's how brutal this is. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh. Yeah, this because I always told people because they were just like special. They're like, "What would you do for special ops?" I'm like, "I'd probably be put in the hole within like the first three days." Yeah, because I'd just be like, "Fuck you! I'm not doing what you tell me to do just because you tell me to do it." Yeah, just because you're my air quotation superior. Yeah, I don't care. Like they'd get again in my face and yell at me, and I'd just be like, "Listen, you ask nicely, or I'm not doing shit." Yeah, I res I have a ton of respect for people in the military. I just know I would never be able to do it. I have, I don't know. Respect for the people in the military, yes. Respect for the military as a whole, eh. Yes. <laughs> like, that, eh. that I agree with. It's, eh. Sometimes, but not... <laughs> sometimes, but not recently, yeah. <laughs> as Spongebob would put it. I have respect for the people who serve. And that's how I'll phrase it. Yeah. I don't... I mean, in general, I just don't agree most of the time with what my government is doing in general. Yeah. So, like, eh. <laughs> I got nothing against the people who do it. Because they're just following orders for the most part. Yeah. I mean, I could criticize them for blindly following orders. But also, like, on average, the average soldier is not committing war crimes. Yes. <laughs> so I'm not, like, you know, how dare the U.S. Army, when it's probably, like, Less than 1% of U.S. Army that, enforced that, people are committing actual war crimes. It's not like so World War like, II, yeah. Nazi Germany we're talking about here. Yeah, I mean, you know. I was just following orders. I mean... I mean, you were, were but, like, but, that doesn't make it okay. But is that a... Are you, are you be... Was it... Did you have any repercussions? Or any, um... In all fairness, most of them did have repercussions. Yeah, not, not repercussions. Afterwards. Reper not repercussions. <laughs> did you ever have a moral... Yeah, more moment of like, hey, maybe this we is wrong. Be. In all fairness, I bet a lot of them did, but they couldn't. But they couldn't really do anything because they this they were definitely executing people that were going against their government yeah. at the time. So it makes sense. Yeah, no, I get it. Uh, but it is what it is. It, it's it's kind of like being in a rock and a hard pace. It's like commit atrocities or be murdered yourself. Most people are gonna be like, well, me or you, and I'm gonna pick me. <laughs> 
me or you, and my life's more important in my eyes. Yeah, like, that's a that's an argument you're not gonna win, just ever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like, okay, guys, whatever. I mean, there were people that they you know defra def def defect defected and like gone away, but those were actually pretty rare. Um, God damn it! Sometimes you just don't get the angle you want. Yeah. Um, sometimes it just doesn't go in there, right? Yep. Sometimes. Well, oh yeah. Actually, you know what? We lost track of time. We're gonna have to try this fucking for another episode in the next part. We'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>